Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing the Champions League group stage prediction. Um, today, the what's it called? The group stage just have been announced. As you guys can see, here are the groups. So let's just get right into the video. Alright, first, group A, we got Liverpool, Napoli, and Rangers. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a number next to them, as in... Who I think is coming first, second, yeah. Third, fourth, yeah. All right, first I got Liverpool, second, Napoli, Ajax, fourth, third, Rangers, fourth. I think it's <clears throat> no surprise that Liverpool are going to finish top. Even though they're not having a good start to the season, they really lost to a struggling to a not-so-well Man United. 3-0. Oh, wait, no, it's 2-1, actually. Shit. I don't know. Where did I get 3-0? I don't know. Um, Napoli, they did lose, um, these Mertens and Insigne, the two-star players, but I still believe they have a better, ah, uh, yeah, and Kula Bali as well. But I still believe that they have a better squad than Ajax, knowing that Ajax literally stole basically their entire squad. And they're literally going to sell Anthony to Man United from the, from what it seems like. And they also lost Ten Hag. Yeah, I just don't see them finishing Top, um, getting out of the group stage, honestly. Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll sign some some good players. Who knows? But yeah, we'll we, we'll have to see. Rangers, I mean, they did win the Europa League last season. Do I think they're gonna get out of this group? No. I mean, with a group of Ajax, Liverpool, and Napoli, definitely aren't. So yeah, I got Liverpool first, Napoli second, Ajax third, Rangers fourth. All right, Group B, we got Porto, Atletico, Leverkusen, and Club Rouge. All right, Atletico first. Sh shit. <laughs> Leverkusen second. Porto third. Club Rouge fourth. I think it's obviously um, Atletico are topping the, this group. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't really know how much to say about Atletico. Leverkusen, I think, they're, they're, I don't know, I know they're doing bad in the business league, like, they literally sacked the manager, so clearly they're not doing good, who knows, but I still believe with the players that they have, they could get out of the group stage, I mean, Porto, yeah, I mean, who knows, maybe, it's gonna, it's gonna really be between Porto or Leverkusen on who's gonna finish second and third. Club Bruges, Bruge. I mean, they literally sold their, like, that one Belgium guy to AC Milan. So, I, I, I honestly, I do not see, I don't even see them getting out of the group or qualifying for Europa League. Coming in third, but, yeah, that's just mine. So, Atletico first, Leverkusen second, Porto third, Club Bruges fourth. All right, next is the group of death. Group C, Bayern, Barcelona, Inter, and Victoria. Definitely said it wrong. I don't know. We're just going to call it Victoria. All right. Got Bayern first. Barca second. Third. Inter. And you have Victoria last. I mean, I just feel sorry for Victoria. I mean, they literally had um, had to do all that, all those matches beforehand just to get themselves grouped in to the match of the group of death. Like, at this point, might as well say, fuck it. I don't want to be part of this shit because... You know, for a fact, you ain't getting out when you have a group of Bayern, Barcelona, and Inter. Bayern, they're doing good in the Bundesliga. 17 goals in three games, I think. Oh, wait, no, it's 15 goals in three games, I think. So, I mean, they're clearly doing good without Lewandowski. I mean, Barca signed... Next is Barca. They signed, like, every player. A lot of good players. Rafinha, Lewandowski, Kunde, even though they haven't even registered him, so who knows if they'll be able to register him on time. In turn, they don't have Antonio Conte. That's like, that was their good coach. I, I don't know. I mean, they still got some good players. Do I see them getting out of the group stage? Coming, I, I honestly see Barca coming before. Second before enter. All right, Group D, Eintracht Frankfurt, Tottenham Sporting Club, Marseille. I got Tottenham first. 
Frank for a second, Marseille third, and Sporting Club. This one's probably the hardest, honestly. Like, it really is. I honestly believe Tottenham are finishing fourth. They have Antonio Conte. They're doing decent in the league. But do I? But it really comes to whoever's coming. The other teams, honestly, they got some. They got a good squad. Like, um, Frankfurt were able to win the Europa League last season. I I think they got destroyed by Bayern. Honestly, I still believe they could get out out of the group stage. We, like I said, this one's really tough to predict. Like it could go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I can't. I don't really know what much to say. Let's just go to Group E. AC Milan, Chelsea, Salzburg, and Dynamo. Chelsea first, AC Milan second, Salzburg third, Dynamo last. I mean, Chelsea are like I said are to be expected to get out of the group stage. AC Milan as well. I mean, they both have some good, a good squad. Salzburg, I don't know. I mean, if we were talking like they had Salzburg, I definitely said that guy's name wrong. The Hungarian guy plays for RB Leipzig. They had their old squad. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I think yeah, he's injured right now. Who, who knows? Yeah, I just do not see them getting out of the group. Going on to the round of 16. So, yeah, Dynamo. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, honestly, Dynamo could finish third. Who knows? But, yeah, got a, Chelsea first. AC Milan second. Salzburg third. Dynamo last. Group F. Got Real Madrid, Leipzig. Shakhtar and Celtic. Real Madrid first. RB Leipzig second. Celtic third. Shakhtar last. I mean, Real Madrid should be getting. But to be fair, the top two, Real Madrid and Leipzig should be getting out of this. I'll su- I'll be surprised. Okay, I'd be surprised if one of them don't make it out. But I'm quite confident they're both getting out. And, yeah, it's really going to be who comes in third, Celtic or Shakhtar. I honestly believe Celtic have the better squad. I mean, yeah, I don't I, I don't really pay attention to Shakhtar or their league, to be honest. I don't even know. I think it's like the Uk- Ukrainian league. I be, may be wrong, but, yeah, who knows. Group G, Man City, Sevilla, Dortmund, and Copenhagen. I don't fucking, I definitely said the wrong name wrong. Uh, Man City first, Sevilla second, Dortmund third, that one team last. I mean, Man City should be topping the group, no question about it. Sevilla, they got better squad than Dortmund, knowing that they lost Holland. And the Dortmund are not doing good in the Bundesliga. state, but like, they're 2 0 up and then lose to stoppage time. Somehow, lose, get con- concede three goals in stoppage time. Like, you definitely do not deserve to be in here. In the Champions League, if you're losing like that, and yeah, really, like I just did not see them getting out. Like they're not doing good. I mean, same with other teams, but still, Dortmund, they don't have they don't have Dor- Holland, so that's third. I just feel bad for the the other got the other team. This I don't see this being group of death. This could be like second group of death. I mean, obviously, group C is um group of death. That final, uh, what's it called? Group PSG Juventus Benfica and that one team. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna say it wrong, so there's like no point about it saying it. PSG first, Juventus second, Benfica third. Yeah, that other team last. I mean, PSG are doing good. The leaders got good in form, Neymar, like 11 goals, contributions. And three games is insane. So yeah, I don't, I see. It's not quite obvious thing. Everybody's saying PSG are on top. Juventus have a good squad as well. Do I see them t- finishing above PSG? No, I do not. So yeah, second for them. Um, Benfica. Yeah, they're finishing third. And that one last team. Yeah, I, I feel sorry for them. Honestly, same with Victoria. They're both. Not doing good, gonna do well in Champions League, but yeah, that's basically my predictions. If y'all enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, goodbye.